than one highly regarded philosopher has claimed that everybody's got a soul. Which, with a sly wink about capitals and capitalization, Kia is bent on twisting into everybody drives a soul. Kia's XX sometimes seem as surprised as anyone else to see its simple shoebox of a transportation appliance multiplying like so many road rodents, but it has become the brand's top seller, with more than 145,000 American buyers in 2016 raising their hands to say, yes, please, I'll take one of those. That's about five times the number who sprang for the Rio. The Soul is usually classified as a sub-compact crossover based on the rear platform, which brings us to another surprise, the little rascal scampered off with the 10 Best Trucks and SUVs award, anchoring the affordable and parkable end of the spectrum. One reason was the 2017 model's new option of a turbocharged and lean for making 201 horsepower, enough to make it the speedster in a category that also includes the Jeep Renegade the Mazda CX-3, and the Honda HRV. The Preturbo Soul placed second in a six-way comparison test, in part because it lacks an all-wheel drive option, something all the others had. For what it's worth, Kia often calls the Soul an urban passenger vehicle rather than a crossover. That's a categorization not widely recognized in the industry but one that tacitly acknowledges its lack of off-road capability. To see what it's all about, We've just added to our long-term fleet a 2017 Soul Turbo, or, in Kia parlance, a Soul Exclaim, rendered Soul. On the window sticker but nowhere on the car itself. We're subjecting it to 40,000 miles of hard labor and service to our demanding staff. We put it to work early in a supporting role to an outdoor family wedding, where its tall and spacious cargo hold readily accommodated all the beverage coolers, lawn tools, and oddly shaped decorations we threw at it. The 24 cubic feet of cargo capacity comes standard on every soul, which starts at $16,995 with the base engine, a naturally aspirated 1.6 liter inline for making 130 horsepower and mated to a manual transmission. The mid raid choice is a 161 horsepower 2.0 liter 4 with a 6 speed automatic. You must step up to the exclaimed trim level to get our car's turbocharged 1.6 liter coupled to a 7 speed dual clutch automatic, which puts your starting price at $23,695. Opting for the most powerful hamster wheel under the hood brings a lot of other equipment as well, including automatic climate control with an ionizer, leather and cloth upholstery, a flat bottom leather wrapped steering wheel littered with buttons, and more. Also standard at this level are 18 inch aluminium wheels, a drive mode selector, plus red stripe highlights on the exterior that make our titanium grey example look like a 1960 Sarah high top sneaker, such as a PF Flyer or a Converse All Star, with an accent on the side of the solar pan opportunity wheel skip this time, you're welcome. We then indulged in some checking of the option boxes, starting with the $3,000 technology package. So, although all exclaims of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, we also have an in-car navigation system with an 8.0-inch display, a Harman Kardon audio system with speaker lights, mid low beam headlights, LED fog lamps and taillights, power folding outside mirrors, power adjustable seats in both front positions the drivers has lumbar support, heat for the front and outboard rear seats, a heated steering wheel, blind spot monitoring and USB charging ports in the center console. Our soul also ached for a panoramic sunroof with which to enjoy the six weeks of annual Michigan sunshine, adding another grand to the price while sacrificing the mounting points for a roof rack a decision that in the long run may prove controversial among our ranks. We also ticked the boxes for carpeted floor mats $125 and for a rear spoiler $395. All in you're looking at a $28,215 soul, which might send some buyers looking for vehicles one class larger, such as the Mazda CX-5. The price also triggers some grousing about the lack of paddle shifters for commanding the gearbox and about how the rear seats don't fold fully flat. On its trip to the test track, our long timber turned in slightly better performance numbers and did the sole turbo we tested earlier, 
but only after we filled it with 93 octane premium fuel. Compared with the results on regular, our soul was 0.4 second quicker to 60 miles per hour 6.3 seconds in a class where 9 is normal and covered the quarter mile 0.3 seconds sooner, going 2 miles per hour faster. That 0.3 second margin also applies to the 30 to 50 mph and 50 to 70 mph runs, so when you need to dart around Winnebago's on the back roads, premium grade fuel is worth the investment. We've noted no glitches in the Kia's first month in service, and the only mishap was when an unsecured cooler full of soda flipped forward and doused us in ice. Cleanup was simple even after hearing the hiss of an overcharged can of lemon lime fago under the passenger seat, and we put the soul back to work. No one has signed up for a multi-state adventure in it, so far, but for the daily chores of commuting and shopping, the soul is a small wonder to which the turbo engine now adds an element of scoot.